Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV and an update interview online, of course, through COVID-19 with David Suda, the CEO of Gold Terra Resources. And yeah, we want to know what's going on with the company as they had some fantastic developments lately. And yeah, first of all, welcome and uh, to you. Good morning in Vancouver. How are you? No, sorry, Toronto you are. <laughs> Guten Tag. <laughs> oh yes, I forgot you speak also German. That's right. Yeah, David, um, you had uh, yeah, <laughs> you had some fantastic um, news out lately regarding a uh, yeah upcoming joint venture earning with uh, Newmont. Please give us some light on that. Well, since I joined the company, it has been uh, our goal to get to the point where we could uh, drill on what we feel is one of, if not the best target. It's in the South Belt and uh, our, our properties that lie uh, very close to the con mine, which, you know, as you know, uh, produced uh, a bulk of the gold that came out of this camp at very high grades. Um, you know, we're sitting right next to that and, and we've really have not tested uh, the extension, the possible extension of the Campbell Shear, which hosted, uh, you know, 5 million ounces at uh, something like 16 grams per ton. So uh, the thing that stopped us from doing that was really that we didn't have an agreement with Newmont. We were so close to uh, the Con Mine, which, uh, which they own, which they purchased when they bought Miramar for a completely different set of reasons. And uh, really, they never had any plan to do anything with this asset. So uh, we convinced them that there was a lot of potential. And now we have an agreement. And now even if we find gold on our own property right next door to them, we wouldn't be shooting ourselves in the foot because we have a way forward. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Great. So um, it's not normal that, let's say, a small explorer with a small market cap can work with Newmont together all, um, all of a sudden here. And it looks to me like that also the conditions are very fair with Newmont. And uh, can you give us a bit of an idea how this would, uh, let's say, work out and pay out then from 2021 onwards? How, how does it work with Newmont? Well, there are really two phases to the deal. Uh, phase one is we can earn into 30% on the claims that uh, Newmont has agreed uh, to joint venture with us uh, mm -hmm. right around the con mine, the old con mine. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do is we need to spend $3 million to earn uh, that 30% by drilling on uh, their land, uh, which we're very happy to do because we think it's also uh, quite prospective um, as, as we feel, of course, of our land uh, in that area. And then the second phase would be to uh, get up to 60% by doing a pre-fees and uh, I think 750,000 ounces of gold on their property or, or a combined 1.5 between the two. Um, mm -hmm. If we find 5 million ounces, then they have a back-end right uh, mm -hmm. whereby, uh, you know, that would be a great problem to have, of course. We've got 15 million ounces and about $15 million cash. So, uh, but it shows you, Jochen, the important thing, and you touched on it, is it's not easy to deal with Newmont. Um, they have a lot of things going on. It's a large company, uh, and uh, they have many files to focus on. So uh, for us, uh, the message is we were able to um, open their eyes to the potential here and get them to come to the table and spend the time with us. We have a, a, a very uh, good uh, agreement going and we're operating in good faith from both sides. Both sides have a good deal, as you said. And, and most importantly, um, you know, for us, this shows that we have a start of a long relationship that, mm -hmm. you know, the sky's the limit in terms of what, what we could do. Um, mm -hmm. So we're very excited about it, but our first and our first priority is to drill. You know, we, we mm -hmm. want to go and, and find gold, and, and Newmont wants us to go and find gold, uh, and they're giving us uh, that opportunity. So uh, that's what we're going to do, and we might just get down there drilling before the end of the year. So 2021 is a is a good date to give. Uh, if we could make it, you know, if we could make it 2020 that we start drilling, then we will, and we're working mm -hmm. towards that right now. 
Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so also on the news from 17th August, I think it was already in that you have scheduled a drill program. Uh, let's say a, um, a diamond drill uh, is turning also, and uh, there is an upcoming drill program targeting the high-grade crystal room deposit. So what is the status by now? How many drill rigs you have mobilized, or when does it get started? What's going on? Well, we started drilling at Storm on August 15th. And mm -hmm. it goes to show you how great it is to have uh, a property that's so close to infrastructure. And in Canada, you know, we've been going around saying this for years, that it's so great to have uh, infrastructure right nearby. Well, it proved in COVID that this is key because you don't have camps to set up. You don't have to have people uh, cooking. Uh, you don't have to have people living in, in close proximity, uh, whereby mm -hmm. those are, you know, concerns for 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 work safety uh, under these conditions. So being right next to town means that people can go home, they can sleep in their own bed, uh, they can eat their own meals. And so August 15th, we started drilling. We set out to drill between five and 10,000 meters at Crestorum, depending on what kind of success we have with the first series of targets. We put out a news release and we showed the market that our goal here is to discover whether or not this target is truly um, there is high grade there and historically some very high grade but it was drilled very tight but very shallow so our philosophy mm -hmm. has changed in that we want to show what the potential is here forget about going to drill the next 20,000 ounces off right next to where you already know there's gold let's figure out if this thing is truly big and so mm -hmm. we drilled um, a series of deep holes We've actually drilled uh, up to date, I believe we're on our ninth or 10th hole. Uh, we have uh, assays back for uh, the first set of, of deeper holes and we'll be uh, releasing the results of that uh, shortly. And so again, the focus at Chris Norum is to see how big is this deposit? And you know, is it worth, um, is there a potential for, for a minimal deposit here? And, and I, so we're taking some big swings is what I'm telling you. And we're well on our way to that. We've, we've drilled, uh, you know, over 5,000 meters and assays are going to be coming into the market. And uh, we're, we're very encouraged by what we're seeing. So we're likely going to keep going there for a bit. But, um, you know, our sites are also set to get going on the south belt. So it's possible we may have two drills turning at the same time. Uh, but we're still in the planning phase. Right now, we just have one drill turning. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So uh, through COVID-19, as far as I know, also the labs have slowed down. It's not so easy to get, uh, let's say, assay results back. So when do you expect maybe, let's say, before year end the first results, or do you think it's probably in Q1 then, next year? No, we'll have results out imminently. The, okay, super. The, the assays have been coming back slower than normal mm -hmm. for sure. Um, but again, being in Yellowknife is great because a lot of the delays have been at the prep labs and our prep lab in Yellowknife uh, has, has um, not caused us that problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have seen a delay for sure, but, but not as, as, as big a delay as some of uh, our peers. So uh, they're deeper, longer holes. They take about a week to drill. So roughly the batches of assays come back you know, a week at a time. So our first batch came back slower than we wanted or expected, but now they're coming in sequence. So um, we want to we wanna also release results that, that we can say something about what the results are as opposed to just, you know, one, mm -hmm. one at a time. And um, we, we would we'd hope that we'll have results out within quite a short window here, maybe mm -hmm. days, possibly a week. Okay, super. That's fantastic. Um, what I find also really interesting is that you did a fantastic financing with over $7.1 million. And so that means you are now really also in a strong cash position to drill. And let's say, yeah, maybe to enlarge the drilling program also 2021, if you find what you want and uh, to go really full throttle, right? So who has uh, participated and uh, who supported you that heavily? The main difference between the financings uh, from earlier days, for example, with Terex, to the last financing, and it's been a steady increase, is that we've, we've really established more of an institutional following. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the last financing had uh, nine institutions, I believe, if I just say off the top of my head, who were, who were participating, uh, right. versus the previous one where it was three, and the previous one before that might have been one. And, and so uh, there's, there, are two, there are two components at play here. One is for sure the market has improved and institutions are seeing inflows. Um, they're seeing opportunities to deploy capital and so that put us in a better position. But don't forget, this was back in July. We, we you know, it was still uh, earlier stages. And that leads me to the second point, which is that we have a team that has the ability and the relationships uh, to access uh, institutional investors. So, uh, you know, with Gerald and I um, doing marketing, I, I think that um, I'm going to put a little feather in my cap because I don't get a chance to do it very often. I think we've, we've you know, succeeded in, in um, getting people's attention and we'll continue to do that. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Great. Um, also, I saw that uh, you guys have uh, applied and also you were confirmed uh, for the OTC QX market now, right? So uh, that means you, you, you get a little, yeah, you get more following in the US. And why was that so important to do that? Well, I think that we've uh, historically we've had a following in the US. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some uh, early institutional support from the US. And uh, we always appreciated that. We appreciate the US market for uh, its power and strength when it, when it turns on. And uh, tactically, we have um, perhaps uh, not focused enough on um, showing or, or proposing the potential uh, to U.S. investors. And as we uh, started to increase our uh, U.S. exposure uh, with marketing and, and, and outreach, we also recognize that it's not easy for people to, part, you know, participate in the market to to mm -hmm. own the stock if the, if there's no marketplace or liquidity uh, so and, and further to that there's also an element of uh, credibility uh, whereby if you're on the pink sheets sometimes it's not viewed as that good you know uh, as it is to be OTCQX so we wanted to have that credibility. We wanted that the people who see the potential mm -hmm. to also feel the credibility uh, that comes with this. And and further, uh, we're also working on on becoming DTC eligible, and not to become technical on the on the trading side of things. But that is again another step to making it easier for U.S. investors to uh, trade the stock. So um, this is very important. I think it's 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 going to be noticed because a lot of brokers who may have liked our story found it difficult to actually put their clients into the mm -hmm. stock. Now it's going to be much easier. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Super. Well, that sounds like a good game plan. And again, congratulations with Newmont and also to the financing, to be honest. And uh, we really look forward to some very good drill results, I would say. Oh, so do we. So do we. And, and, and <laughs> again, as you said, being, you know, having funds in a market like this is great because you flexibility and now here we are we're drilling at crestorum and we're seeing results we can decide do we drill more do we drill less do we shift to the south and 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 explore this newmont ground and our ground adjacent to it um, that's what we're going to do and we're going to keep going we're going to start it up again in january and and likely focus on the south belt so it's a lot of good things to come Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Super. David, thank you very much. Have a great day. And I have a very strong feeling that we talk very soon. Oh, absolutely. And this was long <laughs> overdue. So let's do it again soon. Absolutely. That's how we do it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank ladies you. and gentlemen, that was David Suda, the CEO of uh, Goldterra Resources. And you heard that the drills are turning and they look for imminent results approximately in the next one to two weeks. And what is even more important, they have in a uh, yeah really agreement with Newmont on the one hand. On the other hand, they have enough money in the bank with a $7.1 million financing. And uh, that's exactly the right stuff to have in this uh, precious metal environment with uh, because as you know we see much much higher precious metal prices within the next 12 to 18 months and yeah it looks like that uh, gold terra is on a fantastic path and we really look forward to some very good drill results i would suggest you check out the company thanks for watching us and bye bye from switzerland and all the best to toronto thank you very much bye bye